Let's unbox the XFX Mercury RX 9070 XT OC Magnetic Air Edition with RGB. Taking a look at the packaging on this GPU, you can see we have a big picture on the front, which is an outline of the design. It gives us a little clue as to what it's going to look like. It tells you about the Mercury Edition. Mercury is like the flagship XFX range. So yeah, definitely look out for that if you're looking for a high-end card. You can see it's got the 16 gigabytes of VRAM. It's got RGB lighting. There is a non-RGB version as well. It's got the magnetic air, which are the special fans on the front. And this is also the OC edition as well. So it has a slightly higher clock speed. If we flip the box over, you can see it has an exploded version of the card, which is really cool. It tells you about Project Mercury, which has all these copper heat pipes and extra cooling to keep this powerful GPU cool. You've got an aluminium back plate with the different pass through areas. And it tells you a little bit about the connections and the aluminium fins and your display ports, etc. Nice information to see on the back of the box. And you've got a big sticker to tell you it is the magnetic air version. And then you've got all you need for ultra fast gaming, which is like all your FSR and AMD features that you get with a Radeon GPU. Ooh, that's very exciting when you open it up. So we have an XFX graphics card protection supporter information, which is basically an anti-sag bracket. So it looks like we're gonna get one of those in the box. We then have a really big sheet of like plastic here, uh, which is a little bit different. So this is a QR code, which gives you an installation guide and the latest drivers, which is definitely handy to have. And you've also got a multi-languages guide and your warranty information. So you get this little slip of paper and then you get this, which is, I guess is, is your warranty guide and a booklet instead is a, is a sheet there. And it, yeah, sort of tells you everything you need to know. And then this is the super cool magnetic fans. Look at that. They don't actually come installed on the GPU. You have to install them yourself, which I wasn't expecting to be honest. I thought they would already come pre-installed, but I guess that makes it clear that the fans are actually removable, that they come in their own little sheet. Let's pull those out. See, you've got the uh, the connections on the back there. Oh, that bearing is super smooth. I don't want to play with it too much because I don't want to damage it, but it, it feels really, really nice. And you can see it's got the, the power connection there. And this is like a magnetic bearing, I think, as well. So there's very, very minimal friction. We've got another sheet of paper. This reminds me, was it an OHP they used to use in school? <laughs> It was like before smart boards were a thing where the teachers used to have these big clear sheets that they'd write on with like a, um, a whiteboard pen and then they put them on the projector. That's what this reminds me of. And it's got a little bit more information about the installation guide, which is like how to install the fans. As far as I can tell, it's basically push them into place and then they go in. This is the anti-sag bracket. Yeah, you just turn that little silver thing there and you've got like a rod that comes out. Oh, and it's got a screwdriver on. That's quite handy. And then this looks like an RGB sync cable. So that's gonna plug into your ARGB header on your motherboard. And that'll mean that you can sync the RGB lighting up with your motherboard's RGB software, which, which is really handy because then it'll make your PC all look all nice basically. But it is optional. You don't have to install it if you don't want to. Okay, yeah, it's actually quite heavy. <laughs> It probably probably does need the, the anti-sag bracket. Oh, that is really nice. It's a chunker, isn't it? Look how thick that is. So size-wise, it is 36 centimeters long, 15.5 centimeters deep, and 7.2 centimeters tall. So yeah, it's it's a pretty big GPU actually. And uh, yeah, but I do like the design of it. It's just a very flat black. I think if we take all these peelies off, then we can take a closer look. There you go. Remove protective film before use. Oh, that was so satisfying.
less satisfying of a peel. Now I've got those peelies off, we can take a closer look at the overall design. And wow, that is a really beautiful card. It's got like a matte black finish to the plastic shroud. Yeah, this bit is made out of plastic. You've got a white XFX logo across the front there, and then a Radeon logo on the other side, and it's very angular design. And then if we flip it over, it does have a solid metal backplate. That's definitely gonna help with the structural rigidity, and also it feels nice as well. You've got these very neat, black stripes across it in gloss and then like it mentioned on the box it's got this huge area here this huge open area to help with the cooling so that'll make sure lots of heat passes through the card you can actually see the gpu itself is quite a bit shorter than the entire cooler this end bit here is all cooling this bit here is like the the actual part of the gpu and and the pcb uh, all the important bits and then if we flip it over you can see it actually has three PCIe 8 pin connectors. So yeah, make sure your PSU is up to the task for that one. That is a, yeah, you can tell it's a very powerful overclocked card just from the amount of PCIe connectors that it requires. And then if we flip it over to the back, you have what looks to be HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 2.1, DisplayPort 2.1, and DisplayPort 2.1. So those can actually support up to an 8K resolution now as well, which is obviously very important for future proofing. Uh, with this graphics card, it's a very powerful GPU. You also have 16 gigabyte of VRAM as well. So I guess you could actually play games at 8K if you wanted to, um, but obviously more, more suitable probably for 4K gaming. But yeah, plenty of connectivity on the back for all of your various displays. Technically, it's kind of like a, a two slot card on, on your uh, your case, but it looks like obviously it's got massive overhang. It's more like a three, three and a half slot card when it comes to depth. Uh, but yeah, overall design I really like. And I think we should finally talk about these fans and install these fans. So this is like some clever new technology from XFX. They are like a, a, a magnetic fan. So you kind of like install them into place and they just click in and they use like a magnetic bearing. So there's very little friction. And I think the benefit of this is that they have a really good warranty. So the GPU itself, three year warranty, the fans have a five year warranty. So XFX are pretty confident that they are gonna yeah, last a really long time. And also think about how much easier it is to clean. Like cleaning your GPU is such a massive hassle because so much dust gets stuck in these fans. You can just take these out and blast it out and it will completely clean out. And you can obviously like just take these off and give them a nice wipe over with a cloth and things. Then I wouldn't submerse them because there is some electronics on the back there, uh, but much easier to clean with that technology as well. And yeah, apparently quieter, more efficient, better bearings, better warranty, etc. So some advantage to the magnetic air technology and I've not seen it on a GPU before. So I think that's quite a neat feature. Now the fans are installed, let's talk tech specs. So this is the OC flagship edition of this GPU. So the game clock is up to 2,570 megahertz, which is 170 megahertz than the 970 XT like stock card. And the boost clock is up to 3,100 megahertz, which is 130 megahertz higher than the stock 970 XT. So a nice increase in overclock. And also that is like the guaranteed boost clock as well. So this card might might actually clock higher as well if you happen to have won the silicon lottery. We see that in a lot of cases where you have a really good cooler design is that you have a minimum clock, but you actually often get over that as well. And um, you just have like a guaranteed clock with this card. Has 16 gigabyte of GDR6 memory, which is perfect for 4K, 8K gaming if you want it. And the memory clock speed is 20 gigabytes per second. Um, it is available in a white version as well. We have the black version here with like these nice red fans. Um, um, and yeah, this is the black RGB version. So I personally would go for the white version, but I think the black RGB version is really nice as well. And the RGB part, when it's turned off, you can't actually tell it's there, but it's this big Radeon XFS strip across the front. So if you're installing it in your case horizontally, it's gonna look absolutely amazing with that RGB all lit up. And of course you have this cable, which just plugs in on the end here. And then once that's plugged in, you can actually control all the RGB lighting off your motherboard software. You don't have to download XFX software, which I 
really like. But yeah, overall really like it. I think XFX have done a great job with the cooler design, the aesthetics on this card. Really glad Overclockers UK are now stocking XFX and you can get it now on our website. Remember to like, subscribe, and why not check out one of our other unboxing videos, which will be down below. And I'll see you again in the next one.